Okay, welcome to part whatever of the mini series until I actually make a real one. So this one's going to be a bit longer because it's going to be about the endings, and you know, I, this one I just have a lot to talk about. So I still stand by what is said, and that Princess Quest is the canon ending, right? And the Afton ending is not canon. That being said, I think that parts of the Afton ending are canon, pretty much all of it except Burn Trap himself. So what I think happens, right, is that Gregory does Princess Quest, saves Vanessa, the good ending unfolds, then they come back to like, you know, destroy it once and for all. So they go, they go down to FNAF 6, right, and they might not use the elevator, right? They might go that different way that you see dug down, right? Which is why you're allowed to go down the elevator in FNAF Ruin, right? Because Freddy says you can only take the elevator down and it can only survive one trip and yet you go down there as Cassie. Also, it seems that Gregory has seen the Mimic personally and knows a tiny bit about it and knows that it's dangerous and Gregory's backpack is down under where the Mimic is. Also, he knows what the Mexus is and why it was installed and what I would assume is that Vanessa maybe had a hand in installing the Mexus to keep the Mimic trapped down there. And the wall seems kind of new and the fact that there is a new like security breach era forklift down there means that that was new then and Gregory and Vanessa probably are the people who took it down there to dig and then eventually seal the mimic in. So while I do think that the Princess Quest good ending is canon, I also think that parts of the Afton ending are canon. But I don't think that Burn Shop exists. I think that that boss fight never happened. And the reason why is because when you go into like the area where Burn Trap was and where you can see the monitors and stuff and the burners on the ground, it's fine in there. Like yeah, there's a little damage in there, but the whole place was damaged already. But like the monitors aren't broken or anything, which you know, they would be melted if you were putting flames in there. So that can't be canon. But now you might be saying, well the blobs there and the blobs in the Athen ending. Yes, I still think that is real. I think everything that happened is real, except Burn Trap. Burn Trap didn't exist. Gregory and Freddy did not go down there and fight Burn Trap. Gregory, Vanessa, and Freddy all went down there and they found the mimic instead not in place of burn trap i don't think that burn trap was the mimic i just don't i don't think the character exists at all that boss fight did not happen they did something else this is something else that happened and the reason that the pizza plex falls is you know basically for the same reason the blob was moving around or whatever the mimic and so it started to collapse and on top of that just think about it if the bottom part collapsed it was only over roxy raceway not everything would be destroyed like as bad as it is so the only way that could have happened is if Gregory, Vanessa, and Freddy torched the place or just tried to destroy it as much as possible, which would make sense because they're trying to stop everything. They're trying to stop everything from happening, so they would just destroy everything and just leave and live their best life. And more evidence for this is um, in the end when the real Gregory is talking to you and he says, my friend has the maps for like the underground facility. Just listen to blank instructions, right? It, it statics over whether it's his or her instructions, right? It doesn't use the pronoun so you don't know who Gregory is with, Vanessa or Freddy. But I think he's with both because the good ending is canon. But I think what it's talking about is Vanessa because she would have more knowledge than Freddy would because she had, you know, the underground. She was a security guard. She would know the maps. She and Gregory did go down there. Now, while I do think that Freddy might have the maps down there, he doesn't really seem to know that much of the Pizza Flex, in all honesty. You know, yeah, he cleared the path down to FNAF 6, but he might not have been able to go further down. Also, in the Spanish translation, like in the Spanish version of Security Breach, when he says, my friend, it's Amiga with an A, and that would mean feminine. So that would mean that the friend is female. Right, or else I would have said amigo, and that would have been male. And actually, I'm pretty sure you can use the, the male version if you're talking about female or male. So the fact that it's specifically used, you know, the, the female end means that it might be Vanessa. Also, the Princess Quest 3 machine seems to be destroyed, which would kind of imply that it was done, like it was played. Other people, you know, they uh, see it as like a sword in the stone type deal, and Gregory never took the sword, as in he never actually did it. But I think that's kind of weird, just considering how it seems like it's almost broken. Like it seems like the sword is jammed in there, and like it defeated it. So to me, the good ending happened, and then they came back, and they kind of did a weird Afton ending type thing. But you know, I could be wrong. I mean, it's just a theory, right? A game theory!